Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Hungry Shark World on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Hungry Shark World and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Hungry Shark World. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else buddies, the first thing to do is to open our main browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to the current URL I have highlighted in green. Now, you can see on the PC screen. There is no need to type it, simply because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. After we click on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks. Which the Android emulator that we will load to enjoy the game Hungry Shark World on our PC. It is now obvious that we have several pros of preferring using that emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Hungry Shark World by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download step takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the executable file, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We have said yes. I minimize the web browser to find the installation software significantly better. The installation software is straightforward. It is made up of two options, install and setup path. I am going to clarify what setup path actually does. We only click on it. And therefore we discover that we, the got here the path where the emulator is going to be placed. If we prefer to change this directory we need to click on that, browse, option, and we opt for another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we desire. I will set it by default. Then, I click on back. And therefore I simply click install. Great. The setup begins and it's going to proceed together with the download of these MB that are shown on our screen. After you download it, it could be more or less megabytes. The data transfer speed can be at a higher speed or at a lower speed, subject to your connection and according to the velocity of the emulator web servers. Right away they are working extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has actually been started immediately. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it gets into the end, the emulator is going to be started for the first time. The reality is the emulator has been started, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you will notice, it has created two icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon will be only one we're considering. Anytime we desire to launch Hungry Shark World on the laptop or computer, we double-click this particular icon and therefore use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we conduct the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will go there to, System Apps, we click on. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is started. At this point we have got to sign in. So now once we're on this page, we must definitely do the next step that is definitely compulsory. So we just click on, sign in. Presently it announces, checking info. It could in some cases get blocked in, checking info, additionally it does not proceed. In that case, you may attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it will surely most certainly be repaired. At this time we shall insert our email and password. The email must be a Gmail email and its related password. As an example you could use the same email you use currently in your YouTube account. Thus I will submit my information and I will come back when I have accomplished it. Voila! Info typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and presenting us the terms of service. We will say yes to them all by simply clicking on, I agree. Following that, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. You might let it select it and it will generate a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We click accept. The Google Play Store is started automatically and on autopilot. 
To install the application, we have to visit the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on that icon indicated green colored. At this point that we are discovering the desktop of this Android emulator, we can see that we have there the install video game button. We then click on this button. On this page we access to the game app. Let's quickly then click now on the install choice that I'm displaying now in green. This action will initiate the software installation. Right now it is going to download and install the video game, it will take a bit of time or perhaps it could be almost immediate. That all is dependent upon on our own web connection. It's as of now ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing this option that I am emphasizing in green, that allows you to use Hungry Shark World for the very first time. I am by then on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're about to simply click that brand new Hungry Shark World software icon that was provided. That game app is started for the first time on your device. There we end up with it, I'm able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to discuss the volume level of this emulator. It is here, we have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we don't count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we should switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This one is simply the first one, we mouse click on this particular software icon that I'm mentioning in green. Thus the display screen is maximized, coming with one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Granted that we would like to launch the app using all the screen, we click this software icon. And we might at present be experiencing the Android game in 100% screen mode. To escape the full screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we'd at present end up being in regular display screen mode. At this point, I am ready to present you the keys mapping that is definitely very helpful. This means we will probably be in a position to use the game app far more easily. The very first point is to click this keyboard icon. And right now there you will have the ability to get the recommended configurations. I am about to keep the normal settings, but if you require to adjust that, you can also do it now with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is absolutely in our own language. Once in a while it occurs that your emulator is started in the wrong language, as an example, in Chinese language. And thus to set it up in the proper language we browse here to the cogwheel. So there inside of many other settings, we click the language drop down. We can also pick the language we need, Italian, Chinese, and so forth. After the language is determined, we should save, the emulator will reboot, along with the game, the next time we run it, will as well be in the opted for language. At this time, you can find another information that we have to take into account, and this is that we will receive a message from Gmail telling you that a brand new device has been associated with our own Google account. It will likely check with us if we are the people who have associated with that device. Yes, we should not worry, simply because the emulator is behaving like a Google Android smartphone or tablet. So you can identify which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Let's browse here to the, model, choice. And now we learn that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for our video user demo. I hope you appreciated it, particularly that you thought it was useful. If that's sir, uh, allow it a superb like, subscribe, and any feedback, concerns or suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. Mouse click on any of those training videos that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the next training videos. Bye!